what's going on, y'all? It's the boy Trill here on that Antos Family Channel. Y'all already know what it is. Yo, who am I here with? Mom. Mom, y'all already know who it is. Yo, at this point, bro, if y'all don't know it's Trill and Mom, <laughs> man, forget y'all, bro. Nah, I'm just playing. Y'all already know what the time is, though. Where are Mr. Beast giveaway winners today by the boy Ryan Pictures? I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to him. He making really oh, good yeah. content. Yo, his video exposing Mr. Beast cheaters. That was yeah. a great video. I ain't gonna lie. W's for him, bro. Y'all go subscribe to him. No cap. But, yo, we about to get right into this. If y'all want to watch the original video, that will be down in the description below to give you what? Own opinions and yes. conjecture, boy. But so this is the... Oh, I'm oh, sorry, no, go ahead. Oh, I'm going to say, no, this is really good because I always mm -hmm. want to know where... Like, what happens where, to What happened to everybody? Even the ones with a lot of money or no money or whatever. I always want to know what happened. Where are they? What what did they, you know, how they feeling? Did they, are they now starting a YouTube channel or TikTok or, mm -hmm. you know, did somebody else say, you know what? I, can you come do a commercial for us? Something. I always want to know. Like, yeah. yo, that's what I'm, I'm hoping they took advantage of the opportunity. <clears throat> I don't want to see nobody here that blew their bread or no joint like that because I'm finna, I'm finna crash out. Because like, yo, bro, I... Yeah, yeah I because said, you know people. No, go ahead. Anyway. No, no, because are you serious? People probably did it. No, nah, because it's like that's something I always hate whenever somebody come into a bunch of bread and then it's like, dang, I wonder what I could have do with it. Because like I, I'm not one of them bulls. I'm sure if you watch our videos, you already know I don't. I'm not buying the mirrors. I'm not buying chains. Right. I don't care about none of that, John. I'm trying to All make right. generational wealth. Let's see where they at. Cause... So let's see. I ain't trying to lie. Mr. Nobody Beast has given away more than $10 million throughout his 10 years on YouTube. Wow. A and with and? A and we're going okay. to figure out what exactly happened to the 11 people who won hey, Mr. Chunks. Beast's largest giveaways, beginning with Mr. Beast's very own brother, Mr. Bro. On the 31st of August, 2019, Jimmy Donaldson would upload a video where he gave his brother CJ 24 hours to spend $100,000. CJ started off she by spending 20% of the money on equipment for his YouTube channel, yeah. which has now been renamed to CJ these days perfect. he then spent another twenty six thousand. perfect example of what i would do perfect that example of what i would do perfect example thank you bro for helping me you know move and, up and i ain't gonna lie and let, let's real let's be real here because i'm a realist at the end of the day does he have an advantage because he's literally mr beast's brother yes, yes. but at the same time i'm mr beast's brother so i would think oh i'm chilling i'm always gonna be straight on money now nah, he said no bro i gotta make sure i got my own bread we gotta make sure we can make content baby. yes he went That's to go tough. get his equipment because you know like you said he's mr beast's brother he could have just said yo bro can I'm, i i'm straight can i borrow some of your cameras or can you give me whatever you know what no he said you know what K, thank like... you because i'm gonna go get what i gotta do for me Perfect example. Yes. So I don't care what nobody said. Yeah, he got an advantage, but guess what? He taking advantage of that advantage. Exactly. Unlike some people, they would just straight up waste this opportunity. Like <laughs> people know how to take nah, advantage of bro. people the right way. Uh, people's you can take are, like, a, you can advantage, take advantage like, of somebody the wrong way. You can mm -hmm. take advantage of somebody the right way. He right. took advantage, even though some people don't like that word. But he took uh, took advantage, he took advantage of, of his made, situation. Yeah, of his opportunity. Smart That's choices. what I'm saying. Like okay, oh, all right, come on, bro. Mr. Beast, brother. What boy? We about to make some of the most fire content I've ever seen. I hope, I, hope, I hope when you press play and it'll say it's so crazy. Yo, if he, yo, go ahead, cause I, I'm, a, I'm turning it off because I'm gonna go, feel like I'm gonna feel, feel like, like an idiot. real stupid. <laughs> no, I'm gonna feel real stupid. Okay. Please. Dollars on a brand new pickup truck okay. before giving away more money to other people. That's fine. However, okay. despite the thousands no, of dollars no, handed no, to the no, no, channel, Mr. Bro had only posted 29 full-length videos before disappearing from the platform roughly two years ago. One of the oh. main reasons for CJ's oh, unsuccessful wait, wait, YouTube journey was simply because his videos were a watered down version of his brother's videos. Uh, Every aspect I had a feeling that was gonna be the I had a feeling. Yeah, but did he make it a watered down version or did society make it a watered down version because he's coming after his brother? That's just like kids in okay. school. When you have an older sibling and then it's like, oh, I hope you like your brother or your sister and then you're not and then you try to be and then see who did it? Society? Now, or did he do it? Okay, in my personal opinion, again, realism. I think it's I think it's part of both because one, you have to look at him and be like, all right, my brother did this. That means it's a working formula. I should probably try to replicate this in some fashion, which is like, all right, that's kind of your fault. You probably should have put literally your own spin on it instead of like, <laughs> yo, my brother did. It, I'm gonna do it. But then at the same time, I'm sure people, even if he probably would have done his own original ideas, people were out have probably still said you're copying, brother. Yeah. Like, you're getting famous See, like your brother yeah, got money. For. Yeah, so like, hard. it's you're it's really in a yeah. lose lose situation to be honest. So it's like uh, I don't still blame spent him. the money the right way. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, he still did make YouTube videos. I mean, you could have just did nothing. Like, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's like, And yo. he did get something out of it, a car. So I ain't mad at him with that either. And he still gave something away. 
Okay. I can say, do your thing, boss. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I don't see nothing wrong with this. Nothing. I ain't gonna front. Like, that's tough. Including like. editing style, thumbnails, and crew members felt uncreative and unoriginal. Which is, however, uh, it, while know, Mr. Bro's career look, failed just despite like getting brother. a $100,000 <laughs> head start, like the same can be said for David the Baker, who successfully turned his winnings into a profitable career. Although David has never. Okay, I don't exactly know David. I, I don't know David. Don't know him either, but that's exactly what I want to hear. That's tough. He turned into a profitable business. I like it. Won any major Loving it, giveaways. actually. He has won over $50,000 after consecutively winning several minor challenges nice. across okay. three of Mr. Beast's videos. Nice. This includes $15,000 from an arm hang challenge, $24,000 for staying in a circle for two weeks, and another $10,000 wow. for leaving the same circle early. David explained Wait, how he I used the money to invest in that. his own YouTube channel, where he now gains over 300,000 new subscribers every month. Okay. However, David the Baker wasn't the only YouTuber who was given a large sum of money despite losing a Mr. Beast challenge as I show speed okay. took advantage of his opportunity and that's exactly what I'm talking about that's exactly okay. what you should do in that situation okay. bro I'm gaining 300,000 subscribers a, a month, month. Okay. a month like what bro okay David yo he did his thing I'm not gonna ask dead fire bro like okay and guess what he said All proper right. business let's chunks, do this one chunks is my goal chunks, you chunks know is him? part of a is part of a group called beta squad they're basically they're like UK youtubers okay like, you know, it's well, this before after Mr. Beast um, no experiment. chunks been chunks in the in the beta squad been popping for a minute like before Mr. Hot, Beast yeah for a hot minute like so he already like, had as advantage as long as AMP probably even before them so he already I'm not advantage he already had a leverage he already yeah, yeah, yeah now he already been on YouTube okay. so it's like but you All know right. Mr. Beast obviously gonna collab with big creators because you know it's just gonna bring more yeah, traction that's just, that's an yeah, obvious thing you should but yeah nah trust I ain't gonna lie I'm speaking for my man chunks yo Mr. Beast did not put him on bro he's he's his own man beta squad okay. is fire like bro go watch them for real for real and chunks were given Mr. Beast's debit card with over one hundred thousand dollars. We have to watch that video. The challenge rail, I remember this. Creators such as I gotta Major show. Boone, okay, George, not I'm not gonna lie. If we watch that video, y'all already seen the vid. I know what happens, but mom hasn't seen the vid, so I'm definitely gonna show her that. John, okay, so don't tell I'm me. Let don't tell me right about now. it. But what, no, what's I'm the video? Say. What is the video? Basically. Uh, you know speed. You know, have I showed you speed? I show speed. If you don't know speed, it's whatever. No. But basically, chunks and him, Mr. Beast gave them his credit card on that, uh, like on that other video time where he gave random people his junk. He just gave them a credit card. Yo, they went and spent a bag on that boy, a bag on that his credit card. I can't tell you what they bought though. Yeah, don't I tell me it anything. Yeah. If we gonna watch that oh, video, y'all. Oh, so he gave it to them specifically. Yeah, he gave it to them. He was like, "Yeah, just go spend whatever you want till it gets declined." I'm like, "What, bro?" <laughs> Wow, what? Till it gets declined. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna hate what they bought. I'm gonna just tell you right oh, now. Oh, then I don't wanna hate. know. Tell now me, you, I don't, nah, don't wanna watch you gonna it. Yeah, you're gonna crash out, and I'm gonna love it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But I go crash. But I, I was crashing out too when I first watched it. I was pissed. Because again, okay, don't talk about it. You get Mr. Beast card? Bro, you don't even know what I'm buying. Anymore, what? Competed against each other for a chance to win a $2.5 million private jet. After the first oh, contestant, wait. Vix. He might show the June. Wait, he might show part of the video. I just thought about that. If, okay. If he starts showing part of it, it's going to show you. So I might have to okay. skip over that. I just thought about that. Eliminated. Don't worry about Chunks it. Chunks was offered a debit card, which Mr. Beast claimed had a limit of $10,000 before taking his hand off the jet. Chunks then proceeds to fake high five I show speed, which unfortunately causes him to take his hand off the jet as well. Yeah, he was dumb for that. They started off by no! saying 20. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. No, you can't fast it for them. It's gonna show if y'all. No, but yo. what if I take it and I don't look? Like that. Hear it. No, yeah. I can't hear it. Nah, take it my cool. thing off. Listen, y'all, if you want to watch the original video, that will be down in the description. Nah. <laughs> Mom, we're not about to do this. But you going to no skip point. it. Why skip Yo, it? If y'all want to watch the original video, this <laughs> video right here, where are the Mr. Beast winners today? That boy will be down in the description, like I say in literally you every video. It? So if you want to know, if, better yet, yo, we gonna watch the we gonna watch the video of them with this. So it's all right. Matter. But y'all want to see that? Skip it already. You skipped it already. Watch tomorrow. Yeah, I skipped past it already. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. However, okay. this prize was not worth as much as the three hundred fifty thousand dollar Lamborghini Huracan. Fidias won by competing mm -hmm. in the video "Last to Take Hand Off Lamborghini." Keeps it. Fidias is a Cypriot YouTuber who has seen a massive explosion of growth on his channel. I'm which not now gonna lie. I, I I do like some what of happened with him. I do like Fidias' videos. I'm gonna be honest, but he's one of the he's one of the main people that they say is like a Mr. Beast clone, which I can okay. kind of see it. I mean, look at the thumbnails, man. Uh, literally. No, no, the thumbnails, but. 
You the thumbnails see, look the same, but is everybody doing that though? It's called Mr. Beast of Vacation. That's when, when when people literally just make videos that are replicating like styles of Mr. Beast. Like for instance, this thumbnail is a hundred percent inspired by Mr. Beast. Oh like, yeah, look at this. I see Mr. Beast in that. <laughs> like this is a million percent inspired by that. You can tell. But Same what I'm thing with what I'm saying is, isn't a lot of people doing doing their thumbnails like this, yeah. like that form, like that cartoonish real. Yeah colorful thing yes like and same thing we were just saying about mr mr bro like mr beast brother like of course people are gonna want to copy that and that's why mr Be mr beast vacation is a thing like that that mean people using because it's a winning formula like it's proven yo this worked for mr beast it's probably gonna work for me right. which i don't blame them for that but then it's like yo we gotta start being a little bit more creative because if you if you could replicate a thumbnail in his style cool it's a picture like whatever it's right. a picture to get people to click Bro, if your video is one to one, if Mr. Beast got a Lamborghini and you got and you got a Lamborghini and you saying the same thing he's saying, bro, you're still no, content. Not good. You're not yeah. creative, bro. Like I'm gonna keep it as whole stack with you. Like, bro, I'm not gonna front to y'all as we go as we go up as creators and we start obviously earning a little bit more money, be able to make better videos. You will probably see me trying to get thumbnails like this, but by God, I will be ooh. I put on everything I love. I would not be directly copy Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's no. whack, bro. <laughs> that's super whack. Like, <laughs> that's how you know be a catch grab. Like bro, this Elon no, no, not doing none of that joint. But nah, Fiddy is cool though. Like he, he do be putting his own spin on yeah. his joints. Yeah, okay. nah. YouTuber who has seen a massive explosion of growth on his channel, which now sits at over 1.5 million See? subscribers. Fiddy survived more than 86 hours and outcompeted the 50 random contestants. After the video, the Lamborghini was never heard of again until a video titled "Winning a Lamborghini from Mr. Beast" was uploaded by finance YouTuber Graham Stephan. So he never got the Lamborghini? No, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't watched I'm that video, so I wouldn't confused. be able to tell you. All I know is I like, dang. I used to watch Graham Stephan a lot, y'all, because obviously killing their mindset before this. Man, after the FTX thing, I can't I can't get back into Graham. It's unfortunate, bro. Okay, well, we're not it's, gonna talk about him. I just wanna know if this dude got the Lamborghini or not. I'm assuming he did. Mm. If if it's yes, Mr. Beast, I'm assuming he did wow. get it. Okay. I sold it. I got the oh, money. He sold it. Okay. And I spend it very responsibly. However, Fidias wasn't the only Tough. winner of a six-figure prize who spent it responsibly, as Cam won one of the largest Mr. Beast giveaways on this list. On the 25th oh, of he November was the dude that won Squid Game, so I was like, why does he look familiar? You remember that video? From the Cheaters video. He was the guy that won Squid Games, but he wasn't supposed to win because technically he cheated. Remember? No, but um, I didn't watch that Squid thing, Squid thing either. Remember the, the cheaters exposed. We watched the same, the same, like by the same dude Ryan pictures that made. This okay, video. yes, no, I, I know, I remember that. So I'm talking about we never watched. Oh, the, the Squid Game. Now no, we never watched yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But he was the he was one of the main people. He was on the thumbnail because yeah, okay. he technically he technically cheated, but I guess didn't. But Mr. Beast will upload his most viral yet. For oh, I remember that. Yeah, they, that video's got like half a billion views. It's crazy. The consequence of seven games by the actual game, which, which was fought between 456 mm -hmm. contestants. The final part of it came down to a game of musical chairs in which two last yes. contestants would compete. Yes, yes, because yes, remember, I remember that. he was you weren't supposed to hover around the chairs yeah. and he was technically hovering, so he technically cheated. However, the video was bittersweet as several Kim's former friends began reaching out asking for a share of the winnings. Okay. See, and that's what's scary about people that win a lottery or come into a lot of money, cause like, yo, I'm not saying you shouldn't help your people shoot. That'll be that would be very hypocritical of me considering my I'm saying nah like i want to help my people it'd be, it'd be very hypocritical of me to be like yo you shouldn't try to help your peoples out or whatever because right. my dream is literally put the whole team on that's literally my family and friends i want to help y'all i want to be able to have everybody accomplish their dreams like yo it'd be kind of crazy when it's like being like you just like I, if, if you haven't talked to me in a hot minute we yeah. haven't been chatting yeah, you see, come that's asking for bread yo you're a weirdo bro i'm gonna need you to i'm gonna need you to huh <laughs> Yo, like, I ain't talked to you in like five months. Like, where I ain't talked to you in a year, some yeah. change. Like, yo, where you come from, bro? Like, yo, where the bro? Like, yeah. Nah. But yeah, what did what did this guy do? Cause I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's it. I know he definitely blew his bread. I just from this picture, bro. I don't want to judge, but I feel like I he know blew we his should. Bread. Them glasses and earrings. Oh, the man. largest Mr. Beast giveaways on this list. On the 24th of November 2021, mm -hmm. Mr. Beast would upload his most viral video yet, $456,000 yeah. Squid Game in real life. Squid the games. contest consisted of seven games inspired by the actual Squid Game show, which wow. is fought between 456 different contestants. The final yeah, part of the video came down to a game of musical chairs, in which the last two contestants would compete for a oh, $456,000 prize. Oh, that's why he had all that hair. That's good, I really didn't notice. Remember. Nice. Yo! Yes! 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 Yes!
I mean, I'll, no, no, because it wasn't this round. Obviously, if you only got two people, one of y'all is going to sit in a chair. It don't matter if you hover or yeah, not. Yeah, I was going to say, that didn't It look... was like, I, oh, my fault. I mean, no, I'm going to say, that didn't look like the, the cheating one. Nah, the one where you cheated, I think there was still four people yeah. left, and you were still hovering around. Yeah, I around remember that. Yeah. That I remember clearly, like, clear as day. Mm. Several of Cam's former friends began reaching out, asking for a share of the winnings. Um, All right, this guy tough. named is Kevin. The sad part is, I used to know this guy. He says, hey, Cam, I'm not asking you this because you won the Squid Games, but I'm asking you this because we used to be homies, quote on Oh, and he wants me to lend him like $145 because he's like behind or something. But this is crazy though. This is crazy. Yeah, now nah, I'm not gonna front. I, I don't want yo listen. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if bro blew his money yet. I'm sure we're gonna get into it. But this right here is exactly what I'm talking about. This this right here is nutty, bro. Like AK. And you and this is how I know you would be not capping you because you, you won. won the squid games. Bro, how you know I won squid games? You've been you yo. gonna ask it. <laughs> and you gonna ask me for $145. Bro, one hundred and forty-five dollars. <laughs> See, this is the dichotomy that's gonna suck because I don't want to be like, yo, we gonna grow or whatever, start making more money, and I don't want to be that guy that got an ego timing because I got bread now. But bro, like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, mom, have you ever seen me ask someone for money that hasn't been you, that no. wasn't you? Because I'll keep it a stack. I be asking dudes for bread sometimes, and it, it eats my heart out, bro. Because I know, yo, dudes got better things to spend it on than giving it to me. But, bro, like, I'm sorry. I've always been a proponent of, yo, you got to work for my bread. And I, that's why I tell my friends all the time, yo, I'm broke. Why? Because I'm not asking for no handouts, bro. I'm not. I'm only asking for deuce. I don't even want to ask her, bro. Like, yo. So it's like, bro, I'm not going to front. Whoever this is, bro, they need to start working or some junk, bro. And that's ironic. I'm jobless. I'm jobless. I'll keep it a bean. <laughs> I'm job. I don't got no job. This is technically my job. And I hate saying that, too, because I, yo, I want this to be considered fun. Like, uh -huh. but, yo. Oh, it's time to lock in on something, gang. Like, yo, you behind on bills? It don't sound like you need to be hitting up Cam. You need to be hitting up, yo, Indeed or something, Joan. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> like, if we are so-called friends, would he be asking me this if I did not win Mr. Beast? Oh, no. Oh, are learning from No, you, like, I we know that now. are learning. Do not trust any of your friends that are fake. Cam mentioned how he would move forward by using the money to help his family and the community around him. And then the month Sorry, the I said... Nah, Cam had built I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, sorry, I should have started with, hey, bro, have you been? That's how you know somebody. He said, hey, bro, <laughs> Yo, this nutty, bro. Oh, man, that's nutty. I'm not going to friend. And the community around him. And in the months following the contest, Cam had built a 400,000 follower TikTok page where of he course. still posts comedic skits and other Be varied thing, content. Okay. Despite his TikTok success, Cam isn't nearly as successful as Bella and Dolan Lambert. Okay, as they so... Okay, I, that's why I didn't want to judge Cam too fast. It don't sound like he blew his bread, but he got a social media following, which you could definitely take advantage of yeah, on, uh -huh. on, obviously, TikTok itself with the creator beta, the beta, uh, creativity beta. Or but they didn't YouTube. say anything negative about him. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I, at first, I was thinking he going to go, because it's where it's the... winners. It's like either you did something good or you yeah. blew your money. So I'm like, hmm, looking yeah. at the picture, I want to say he blew it, but right. I don't want to say no, he did. too fast. And he took care of himself, too. I don't know why he did his he, thing. He, he got him some glasses. Some yeah, jewelry, he got some jewelry. A little social. So it's okay. Probably got him a car. Listen, His mama house. I mean. That's what I'm saying. Like, even like even in worst case scenario, the bread, he <clears> blew all <throat> the bread. Shoot. Yo, if you got 400K on TikTok, bro, you have to be baking bread. Uh -huh. And this is why I used to get mad sometimes being on TikTok. Because I would see people, like, on the joint. And, and I know not everybody wants to, obviously, do social media or want to make money that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just be like, dang, man. You got such a big following, bro. The amount of money you could be making is crazy. You mm -hmm. just... Nah, I ain't gonna lie. RNG boy, I ain't gonna okay, lie. Anyway, boy, so Bella he already had Dallin. a well-established YouTube career Dallin. in other businesses prior to winning a five hundred thousand dollar chocolate factory from Mr. B. Oh, I in remember January watching this. I mean, watching on Mr. here, but I watched uploaded outside. a video in which he would reveal the steps people can take to potentially earn admission to one of his Beastables. future videos. Ten random bars are gonna have a mystery ticket inside mm -hmm. them, and if you get this mystery ticket, we will fly you out to compete for a chocolate factory in yeah, one of our videos. After the video was released, video after video was posted to YouTube with all of them sharing similar headlines. I bought X amount of Feastables. Della Vlogs, of course, had the same idea. They okay, spent so... more than $1,000 on wow. Mr. Beast Feastables, hoping wow. to find a golden ticket. Unfortunately <laughs> for them, one of the chocolate bars they had bought included the legendary golden ticket. This, this was open. This was just taped. It was taped. <gasps> no freaking way. That's and tough. Oh. The chocolate factory. oh, that's tough. Damn. So that box and was open. And we made money off the video. That's tough. 
Bella and Dolan were officially accepted as one of the 10 contestants who would compete against each other for a half a million dollar chocolate factory. The competition right. consisted it was of him. seven no, challenges right. who right. ultimately came down to a shirt. final round, impressing Gordon Ramsay with their cooking. Light, fluffy, but I'm nervous. Him. Yeah. Uh -oh. See, that's, the, that's the dude. I can't tell if he's about to be the worst cake ever. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, we kind of lagging. Okay. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Or like, oh, it's decent. Right there. Oh my gosh. It's a seven out of ten. Hey. Seven out of ten. Yo, from Gordon Ramsay. Yo, he was cooking. A seven out of ten. That was a big deal. Although Dolan had officially won the chocolate factory, Mr. Beast offered an alternative prize of $500,000 in cash, yeah, given that the factory the cost factory. more than $100,000 <laughs> per year in maintenance. They used their platform and prize money to give away thousands of dollars, and over the past five years, have donated over $6 million to charity. I don't care. I don't care about I'll spend hours, I'll spend money mm. doing that if that happens. I don't even care. Sean Hendricks is the only wow. person on this list who had to endure a brutal 100 days before he received his prize. Sean was picked as a lucky contestant for the video, Survive 100 Days in the Circle Win 500 Grand, in which he had to endure days without seeing his family, severe weather storms, and even his house getting destroyed. Although he rejected offers of $100,000 and $250,000 to leave the circle mm. early, Sean managed to stay in the circle for the entire duration of the challenge. So on the tough. 100th day, he was greeted by his family members and celebrated the end of the challenge yeah, as he collected his $500,000 check fire, from like, hang on, that's Sean fire. saw this as an opportunity to share his story on social media in which he would create a Twitter account and YouTube channel under the name Sean Hendricks. Sean would further announce his biggest purchase with the prize money, a brand new house in North Carolina. Sean okay. Hendricks' life following the giveaway is best like summarized it. by the 19 posts he has made on his TikTok. However, on top of the $500,000 check, it's apparent that Sean has been living his life at the fullest given that he now has a role as a full time director of development at oh. Mr. Beast. What? On the 4th of August, that boy getting paid. That boy, that boy getting paid. <laughs> that is, he getting his and money. I was about to say, that dude looked familiar, though. I think he was in one of his videos with something else, not like a I ain't gonna because his beer was kind yeah. I ain't gonna lie, his he beer was doing something familiar. Helping him out, maybe helping him give out well, money he in the something. background. He, was, he wasn't like, yeah. What? I've seen him in, another, in a video before. No cap. Yeah. Shoot. Again, there's heads See? that could take the bread, do some great things, <laughs> create even more opportunity for himself, and then you can just blow it, bro. But I would like to watch that one. I mean, not for us to react to, but I would mm -hmm. like to watch that one. Mm -hmm. How he survived in that circle. Where he get the stuff from? Yeah, for 100 days, three months. That's so yeah. three months some change. Nah, <laughs> I'm cool. You know how hard it would be to turn down 250 thou? What? But I want to know, where did he get the stuff from? Like, he True. built a house or something. He built something. Oh, no, they probably imported the house. Because you saw they lowered, didn't you see they lowered the house on a crane? No, I see. I gotta watch that one well, on my own. Yeah, we're gonna Private. have to definitely watch that. Mr. Beast time, would celebrate sure. his 100 million subscriber milestone by island. uploading a video where he gave away yep. a $500,000 private island to one of his subscribers. Mm -hmm. The video consisted of four challenges. That video was fought golden. I remember watching this for the first time. It was insane. ending with a treasure hunt between five people. For the final challenge, we have our 100 million subscribers play button. Tape to the back of it. I think that's what island. I saw. I'm gonna go hide this. Remember, I, no, you didn't yeah. see that. I showed you this video. Yeah, no, the only video that. This you showed me that. I think that was like one of the first. It was the end of it, because I'll never forget, y'all. Yeah. So this is way before we started YouTube channel, any of that. Yeah. I remember. Uh, before I even knew of Mr. We B. We were having, I don't, I think people were coming over. We were having yeah, some we type Yeah, so we was, I was, I was in the living room. room. I was yes. like, mom, just, yo, they really want to, I remember I was screaming. I was like, the playboy, yeah. it's right there. Oh, I was screaming. Yep. I remember that. I remember that. I'm, nah, like, I'm looking, I'm like, yeah, this, I think this is one of the first things I ever seen of Mr. Beast. This was It was so the good. end, this end thing. Mm -hmm. When they found the um, the uh, thing on, I think it was by the tree, underneath the tree. Underneath yes, the I was like, yo, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm> like, <laughs> yep. Nah, this was fire, bro. Like, it's so crazy because, like, I, I think I've said it before in another video. Like, Mr. Beast be making content that you could put on Netflix, bro. Yeah. I, th I think uh, I, I'm pretty sure in one of his interviews, if not on his own page, he did say he wanted to do like a game show thing with Netflix. And bruh, if he does that, bro, I don't, bro, this is literally peak watch content. It. Like, yeah. that, like it's already peak content, but bro, it's, it's over from that. Here, bro. Yeah. Like, like that boy is, go is global, a, like yeah. for real. Global like, gazillionaire. What, boy? Giving back to more people. It's because, more. yo, he's a content genius. And granted, obviously, I know, yo, it don't just be him. He got a whole team. I, I know we say that every guy editors, everybody. Yep. Yo, his team, him, his team, the guys, bro, content GM, marketing geniuses. Yes.
bro. Like, what is crazy, he bro? He leaves his ruby play button, and the island was never heard of again. However, on the 7th of August, 2022, a Reddit user posted a thread revealing the exact coordinates of the island. And after digging a little deeper, we've managed to stumble upon a website where the 12-acre island under the name Ben's K was listed for half a million dollars. Half Although million, the events wow. following the giveaway has yet to be specified, we can conclude that the women has listed the island for sale. Yet this wasn't the first time Mr. Beast gave away a private island, as Chandler Hollow won an $800,000- Chandler! Island. Chandler! So, I remember Chandler! That video too. Hmm. He wasn't one of the, the the ones his friends that he talked about from the beginning. Which like, man? Oh, Chandler at first was their janitor. I'm pretty sure, and then obviously he started. That's like he was okay. Funny. So Chandler, he, he came. Okay, let's see. But yeah, it was a video. Yeah, it, he did a video like this before, but it was just between like him and the guy. So like Chandler, Chris, uh -huh. Carl, and you know all them. So whoever won that vid, um, got an island. And yeah. Okay. After competing in another last to leave challenge, competition consisted of 10 different challenges fought mm -hmm. between 10 of Mr. B's crew members, which yep, ultimately see? came down okay. to a dramatic vote off between Chandler and Carl. The winner of Survivor Mr. B's Chandler. Chandler! Chandler! After the video was posted on the 15th of August, Car 2020, hurting. the island was never mentioned again. However, just one month later, Eric would post a video titled, I Stole Mr. Beast's $800,000 Island, in which he explained his plan to- How have we never seen this? <laughs> How have I never seen this before? Yep. No? Well, I know what I'm watching. <laughs> I go okay. front. I know exactly what I'm watching. Boy, Eric stole an island. That's tough. I ain't gonna Conquer front. The land. Since this island belongs to Chandler, Chandler, I'm calling you out. Now listen, Chandler, I stalked your Instagram all the way back and found out that you're pretty good at uh, basketball, baseball, and video games. I'm willing to oh, compete with you in these three activities or another activity of your choosing to win this island fair and square. And exactly one week later, Chandler tweeted a video addressing the situation. I loved it. I got a free island. Only reason I couldn't keep the island, guys, I couldn't keep it is because of taxes. That the makes sense. That makes perfect make sense. You pay taxes on something you could get for free. And I didn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars yep. to pay on taxes. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna tell y'all, bro. <laughs> okay. You know what they say? I'm trying to tell y'all. And I and some of y'all may not want to hear this, bro. But there's two things that's always guaranteed in life. And what are those two things? Death, Death and, and taxes. taxes. <laughs> <laughs> you will never be. I'm Death trying to tell y'all, boy. The IRS is hunting you down faster than the FBI, boy. The CIA, boy. <laughs> boy, they is getting on your case, boy. I'm trying to tell y'all, if you make more than six hundred dollars, and I trust me, I know this. Boy, the IRS is hitting your doorstep. Boy, you is paying your taxes. So I 100% believe this, bro. Yeah. You know, like he's saying, it's an island. This island costs almost a million dollars. Boy, the taxes on that boy is going to be ridiculous, bro. Mm -hmm. The taxes on that island is going to be like three people's whole salary combined. Like, oh my God. So what do you do, sell it? I don't know. He probably, he probably didn't just take it. Probably, you know. So wait a minute. So, so Mr. Beast, Jimmy, mm -hmm. had to buy the island to give it away. Mm -hmm. So Chandler won the island. Chandler now got to sell the island because he can't pay taxes on the island. Yeah. So now... I, don't know. I know, I, I know you're probably thinking, like, like, yo, Mr. Beast frauding. Like, yo, let's, not frauding, like let's be real here, y'all. Like, bro, some of these things you got to realize, like, yo, some of these things is obviously for content. Like, yo, if, say, for instance, I won the $100 million island joint or whatever, his $100 million joint, he did the island, and I was like, girl, like, bro, I'm not going to front. What am I gonna do with an island, bro? Yeah. I'm selling the island too. Like, what, what the heck? Like, bro, I'm supposed to go there every. I'm gonna live on the island, bro. Right. <laughs> like, yo, we gotta grow up. Yeah. But, like, yo. But, yeah, no, nah, I don't even blame Chan. Like, bro, it's yeah. an island, bro. I'm not paying taxes on that, boy. No. What? <laughs> yo. However, unlike Chandler Hollow, who had unfortunately lost a chunk of his winnings to taxes, Zach okay. King had the fortunate Zach opportunity King is my to donate goat, a large bro. chunk of his prize Yo. earnings to several charities. Zach King was among the 10 influencer contestants invited to an extreme $1 million game mm -hmm. of hide and seek involving other big names such as Logan Paul, Mark Rober, and Bella Porch. Zach finished the video by saying, I will do Mr. Beast style giveaways, of course, put it towards some foster care and filmmaking ventures that I'm into for. Uh, what a nice guy. Approximately Four That's months later, Zach uploaded a video titled Mr. Beast Gave Me a Million Dollars in which he kicked the video off by giving away a Tesla. Yo, I can't, bro, I love, yo, how does he do it, bro? He a magic on a computer, bro. What the heck, yeah. bro? Yeah. Titled, yeah. Mr. Beast Gave Me a Million Dollars in which he kicked the video off by giving, yo, these edits is too fire, bro. I don't yeah, know how, how he's he doing do that. Like, he got, he got technology, he got the, 
He got the like. Remember equipment. the Harry Potter joint? He was on a broom yeah. and he showed he was walking. I'm like, yo, like, how is he doing that? Like, bro, that CGI is crazy. Like, now nah, we dead gotta wow. watch some Zach. Yeah, King I've been did. saying that. Now, nah, now nah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We gotta lock in on we Zach King. Yeah, giving away a Tesla. He then donated over one hundred thousand dollars to different charities, opened a free store for people to grab whatever they wanted, helped film students pay off their tuitions, gave away thirty thousand dollars in Bitcoin, and donated another three hundred fifty thousand dollars to a foster care organization. Zach gave a total of eight hundred fifty thousand dollars before using the rest of the Goated. money to give away a one hundred fifty thousand dollar private island similar Goated. to Mr. Beast. Yet unlike Zach King, who had lived Goated. a prosperous life prior to winning a million dollars, Mark Antony. This was said to be at his lowest point in life. I remember this. One of this is also one of Mr. Beast's most popular videos. When but they he have nothing on him. Look mean? at his bios. Empty. Oh, it's probably empty. He's gonna put some text. Of Mr. Beast's largest giveaways ever. Mark would. Never mind. They're not gonna put no yeah. text. <laughs> I right, take it back. But yeah, this is okay. like one of his most popping bits because this was, I think, the first time he gave away a million dollars. Yeah. This. Yeah, this one was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This one was. He was invited tough. to participate in a four-part challenge to win a one million dollar mm -hmm. prize. Okay. The videos were posted separately over the span of one month, which included challenges such as last to fall, last to stop swinging, last to leave the toilet, last to stop biking. Before the final round, last to take hand off a million dollars keep set out of the four contestants wild, mark bro. ultimately came out as victorious and won the million dollar cash prize just two days later mr beast uploaded a video titled spending one million dollars in 24 hours in which mark purchased twenty four thousand dollars worth of electronics for his family 124 grand for a brand new truck and bmw 165 000 on a brand new house before setting aside the rest of the money for taxes mm -hmm. That was a goaded video. That video was goaded. Yeah. Like, that was that. That joint really hit. That was like the first time I had ever watched Mr. Beast. And I was like, oh, yeah. Nah, this is some serious joint we doing right here. Like, like not not me. But I'm talking mm -hmm. about Mr. Beast. I'm like, yo, he's really like about to be the next guy up. And guess what, boy? 200 and like 20 million. So this guy was, he, <laughs> what, he was from nowhere. No, what nothing. Mean? That's what they saying? He was just a normal dude. Like, yeah, okay. I mean, we normal people. Like, he was just a normal guy. Yeah. Got on a game show. He won. That's a mill. <laughs> I'm feeling him. did right with it. Sure did. People were like, oh, he brought electronics. No, he brought it for his family. He brought a house. I mean, yo. He probably invested some of it out, you know? No, that's just like, he set aside, a, uh, I think, I th it was either 25% of it or 50% of it for taxes because, you know, you get a million dollars. Oh, yeah, dollars. definitely. Again, we literally just spoke about it for like two minutes straight. The IRS is hunting you down, boy. You're paying yeah. your taxes. <laughs> Now, granted, what are those taxes going to? I'm going to be honest, I have no clue. Because when you go outside and look, it, it don't look like it's going to infrastructure. But that's just me, though. <laughs> anyway. Y'all heads on politics. Y'all can school me in the comments. I'm not going to read it, though. But um, <laughs> anyway, a great video by yes. Ryan's Pictures. Where are the Mr. Yes, Beast giveaway winners? You. It seems like, and I'm really happy to see it. It seems like a lot of them did do right yeah, with the money. Like, they did. There they really did. wasn't anyone that did no. like anything bad with it. And, I, and I, I'm glad to see it because, yo, like, <laughs> Yo, opportunities like these to get this amount of these, yeah, these these amounts of money, right, bro? They, yo, you cannot waste that, bro. This is really once in a lifetime type Jones. Like, it's tough, y'all. It's right. tough. That's good. Hey, bro, that's good. You, bro. <laughs> it's I'm happy. Fire. See, that's what I always wanted to know. I mean, I still mm -hmm. want to know about other other characters and other things, like of course. People. But no, that's that's good. It's goaded, bro. Yeah. No, I really think I'm happy. like it's fire for these people, and of course, y'all, yo, we watch Jimmy like on a daily basis, bro. <laughs> y'all yeah. already know Jimmy doing his ting, his body ting, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so yo, mom, that was where the Mr. Beast giveaway winners yes. today. Again, like I said, I'm proud to see that a lot of them did well. But yo, yeah. that's the end of the vid. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> if y'all want to watch the original video, like I said in the beginning, that boy will be down in the description below yes. to give your own opinions and conjecture, boy. And make sure to go to subscribe to Ryan's pictures, yo. He makes yes. great videos yes. that we reacted to before. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. The truth is videos, like we said. Yeah. That's almost fire. But with that being said, boy, mom. Make sure you. Would you do the honors and tell them what they got to do? <laughs> like this video. Hey, yes, that's like it up. Thank you. I want to see a thumbs up. Comment. Okay. Comment giveaway. Giveaway. <laughs> Comment giveaway. No cap. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe Subscribe. Okay? Road to 2K. We trying to get that silver play button, us, boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and. <laughs> Pull that post notification bell so that bell. every time a Jingle it's a family oh. post a video that boy will be hot, fiery, spicy. Yes, always. You see that red dot? Feed. Go click on. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. Here. No, it's gray. I think it's white actually. Yo, they, yo, it can we get a petition to change the button back to red? I don't know yeah. why they changed it to gray. Like, I'm talking about when they get a notification. It's blue now. It's blue. Oh yeah, the bell. Blue, blue. Oh yeah, yeah. not the bell. Yeah, not the bell. Notification is blue. blue. I keep saying red, but it's blue. <laughs> y'all know what it is, y'all. Yes. That's mom, I'm true.
We're going to see y'all later. Peace. Peace.